So I'm going to show you how to find P hat or X bar or the margin of error when you're given a confidence interval. Um, this is similar to the problems on the review number 13, 17, or 18. And what they do is they give you the confidence interval, which is your lower and your upper bound. And it'll either ask you to find either P hat or X bar, where P hat is your sample proportion, or X bar is your sample mean. And the margin of error, um, usually I'll use the just a capital E to show that. So whether you're finding P hat or X bar, the concept works the same. If you think about this as a number line where you have your interval, your lower bound on one side and the upper bound on the other, you're using your sample proportion or sample mean, depending on what type of problem you have, to estimate the population. So here for number 13, we're trying to find sample proportion. That's going to be right here dead center between 0.56 and 0.83. So P hat is located right between those. What we're doing when we're doing confidence interv intervals is we're using your P hat to estimate the population proportion. So we're saying based off of this sample proportion, your population proportion or P is between those two numbers. We can't say it is exactly the same as the sample, but we can say within some margin of error, it's between these two numbers. So what that means is your sample proportion is right in the center and you've got a margin of error that gives you the distance to each endpoint. So if you wanna find P hat, what you're gonna do is you're going to find the middle between the two endpoints, which is basically finding the average of the two endpoints. So you're gonna add them and divide by two, and that will find the center of those two endpoints. Um, be careful if you're punching in this into a calculator, make sure you either put a parentheses around the top or press enter after you add the sum and then divide by two. You don't wanna just um, divide 0.56 by two. Um, also, if I asked you, I think number 17 on the review, it's a different numbers, but it's the same concept. If I want you to find the error or the margin of error, that is finding the distance from P hat or the center to each end. So from there to there or there to there. To find that, you can do it multiple ways, but one of the easier ways is to subtract them. And I just noticed I have a 0.82 instead of a, it should be 0.3. So in case you were wondering, that's a 0 0.83. So anyway, to find the error, you would subtract which would find this total distance, but then I just want half of it, so I'm gonna divide that by two. And that would find your error, either the distance from P hat to your upper bound, or the distance of your P hat to your lower bound. Now this works the same way if you are using, instead of proportions, if you're using, um, finding it for the mean, it's the same concept. The mean would be in the middle, the sample mean would be in the middle between your upper and your lower bound. Sorry, I should have the lower bound over here and the upper bound over here. Your sample mean is right there in the middle and you're using that to estimate your population mean. So that's if you were doing it for a mean instead of a proportion. But 
you would find it the exact same way. Now, let me show you on your formula sheet for the exam. Um, notice that there's formulas for error. There's three on the front page. That is if you're finding the error for a mean, whether you are doing it when you know standard deviation or not know. For a proportion, it's always the same. But on the back side, or on the second page, um, this is what I just showed you. Those formulas are right there. So if you know where to look, you don't have to memorize any formulas. Um, you just have to know what to look for. So what we just did is we used the con confidence interval to find p hat and the error. Or same thing for x bar and the error. You would use these two formulas. I hope that clears